Hey everybody, how's it going? My name's Andrew, and this is an AWS tutorial series on setting up the console agent on EC2. In this tutorial series, I'll go over installing the console agent, as well as installing the console web UI, and we'll also create a service and some checks for our servers. To make this easy, I've also created a repository for this demo, where I'll be copying and pasting these commands. Um, and then there are also separate commands based on the servers that we're going to be booting. So let's go ahead and launch some servers. We're going to click Launch Instance. We're going to choose Ubuntu. A T2 Micro is fine. And number of instances is going to be three. And we'll call these console with a dash. And I'll rename these to their specific servers later. Security group, I'll do inbound and outbound all traffic. And I'll launch this instance with a key pair I've already created. So now that our servers are online, we're going to go ahead and log into what's going to be the server we're going to bootstrap. So we're going to log into it, and I'm just going to copy and paste these commands from my GitHub repository. Now these first set of commands I'm going to be running are going to be the same across all three of these servers. Um, and then I have a few separate commands um, separated out by its, uh, its individual server. So first thing we'll do is we're going to run an update, and we're going to install git and unzip. We're going to go into our root directory and we're going to download the zip file for console. And we're going to go ahead and unzip it. And we'll remove it just for cleanup. And now we're going to move console into our path. And we're going to clone this repository because it has a lot of sample configuration files and a setup script. So now for the bootstrap server, we're going to get the web UI. We're going to unzip the web UI. We'll remove it for cleanup. And we're going to go into the repository uh, folder. And we're going to run console keygen. Now this is going to create a keygen um, for all of our servers to be encrypted talking to each other. So we're going to make sure we save that. We're going to copy the sample bootstrap JSON to config.json. And now at the very bottom here, we're going to run a setup script. We're going to provide a host name. Uh, we're also going to provide the encrypt key that we've just created, the private IP of the bootstrap server, and the private IP of the non-bootstrap server. So we're going to call this one bootstrap. We're going to provide this encrypt key. We're going to copy the private IP of the bootstrap server. And we're going to copy the private IP of just the normal console server. And we're going to go ahead and click enter. And all this is doing is it's just editing your um, config.json file. So if I cat this file out, you can see that uh, we have some start, the IP addresses here for the HTTP and what we're going to use for start join. And so now we can go ahead and start console on this server. So we're going to run this nohub command and we're going to point it to that configuration file that we've just created. And so now if I go to the public IP of this console bootstrap server, we should see the console web UI. And we do. And we can take a look here um, that we have a service running and we have some checks in here. And if we go to nodes, we can see our node called bootstrap. And if we wanted to, we can put in a key value pair. So I'll do hello world. We'll click create and we can see that that's functioning as well. So the next thing we want to do is we want to log into the normal console server. And this server is basically a failover. So if for some reason the bootstrap server fails, this server will be able to uh, handle the workload. So we're going to go ahead and log into the server. And remember, the beginning steps are the same for each one of these three servers. So now I'm just going to run these commands. I'm going to go into the um, directory of my repository. I'm going to copy the sample server.json to config.json. And I'm going to run this exact same setup script that I ran on the bootstrap server, except I'm just going to call this one server. And now I can run this nohub command uh, to start console. And if we go back to our console web UI and refresh, we should see that we have a new node, and we do. So we have the normal bootstrap server, 
and we have our console server as well. And all these are running uh, the same checks and the same services. So we can see that we still have our key value pair in here and that everything is all healthy. So now we can log into the agent server and the server is just gonna run an agent and we're gonna install Apache on here and all we're gonna do is do a quick status check on port 80. So we go back to my documentation, we're gonna install Apache. We're gonna go into the repository folder and we're gonna copy the agent.json to config.json and we're gonna run that exact same setup script again except we're gonna call this one agent. And so now if we start console, we should see it show up in the web UI and we should see a new service check for HTTP. So if we refresh, we see we have an agent. We see it's running the HTTP service and pinging on port 80. If we jump over to services, we see we have our new service. And now I want to show you an example of using the localhost API to put a key in. So if we run this command here and we put in our data test into a web key one, we can go over to our web UI and go back to key value and we can see that we have a folder called web and inside there, there is a key called key one and our value is test. So we can see that that works straight away from the localhost API. And so we can go ahead and curl that as well. And the one thing you'll notice is that the value is encrypted. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna run this similar command to decrypt that. So all we're gonna do is we're gonna tag on uh, question mark raw and you'll see we get the raw value back of test. So that concludes our tutorial on setting up console. In this tutorial, I set up a bootstrap server, a console server and an agent server. And we monitored a service and set up some uh, checks. If you have any questions, comments or concerns, please leave them in the comments section below. And please remember to like and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching.